And next, we need to say a few things about order of operations. Think about this expression, 12 minus 6 divided by 2. The question is, how do we evaluate this? How do we figure out what number this ends up being equal to? Should we do the subtraction first or the division? Well, the sub subtraction appears first and then the division. So you might be tempted to do the subtraction first, but that's not correct. You end up having to do the division first, just because there are rules about which operations should be done in which order. That's why this is called order of operations. Some operations have a higher precedence. They get done first. It makes a difference, you'll see here, whether we do the subtraction first or the division. If we did the subtraction first, like is indicated down here, because the subtraction is within these parentheses. If we do the subtraction first, this is 12 minus 6, which gives me a 6. So this is like doing 6 divided by 2, which is 3. But if we do the division first, as indicated here with these parentheses, the 6 divided by 2, this part ends up being 3. So we have 12 minus 3, which is 9. And you can see that 3 is clearly different from 9. So it makes a difference whether we do the subtraction first or the division. And the rules say that we do division first. So if we have parentheses, like you see in these examples, you do what's in parentheses first. But in the absence of parentheses, like we have up here, you do multiplication and division left to right and then you do addition and subtraction left to right. And that's the rules. M multiplication and division come first. They, they get done before addition and subtraction. And here are some examples. 4 times 5 minus 2. What I'm going to do is rewrite this problem. And I'm going to do the multiplication right here. And I do it first before that subtraction. So I'll rewrite this with the multiplication done. So instead of 4 times 5 minus 2, I can write 20 minus 2. And I've just taken my 4 times 5 and substituted 20. So this can be rewritten like that. And doing it in steps like this it ensures that I do the multiplication. And I leave the subtraction here undone. So I'm getting the multiplication done before the, the subtraction. And then 20 minus 2, you can do that in your head. That's 18. Okay, over here, 6 times 8 minus 2 times 4. I need to do this multiplication and that multiplication first. So this is as if I had parentheses around the 6 times 8 and the 2 times 4. I don't need those parentheses, though, because I know that multiplication gets done before addition and subtraction. So I'm going to rewrite this problem, but instead of 6 times 8, I'll write 48, and then I put my minus sign... And then instead of 2 times 4, I write 8. And 48 minus 8 is 40. This next one, once again, let's rewrite the problem. We'll go left to right and do all the multiplication and division. 5 times 4 is 20. And then I have a minus sign, so I'll leave that. Then I have 3 times 2, that's 6. And then I have a plus. 1. And now I go through and do my addition and subtraction left to right. And you can probably do this in your head also. 20 minus 6 is 14, and plus 1 is 15. And this last one down here. I go left to right, and I'm going to essentially rewrite this whole problem, but I'm going to do the multiplication and division. And here's a multiplication and here's a division. And those things get done first. So this problem becomes 3 plus this. I need to do that multiplication. That's 3 plus 24. That 4 times 6 is 24. And then I have a minus 5. And I have a plus this. I have to do this division right there. That's 6 divided by 3. And 6 divided by 3 is 2. So this is plus 2. Now I'll go through here and do all the addition and subtraction left to right. 3 plus 24 is 27. 27 minus 5 is 22. 
and 22 plus 2 is 24. So 24 is my answer.